Good afternoon. The topic for today is a bare bones ADB install on an OS X machine. First step, launch your browser of choice, type ADB into the search, click the first link, go to the downloads tab, and since we don't need an unnecessary Eclipse IDE, click the download SDK for an existing IDE, click the download button, and you should be good to go. I've already done this, I'm not going to do it again. Launch your finder, go to wherever your downloads are, and you should see this zip right here. Expand it, you'll get something that looks like this. Go to your tools, Android, and click this the Unix executable file and press double click. And after we wait for this, this application to connect to the Android repository, you should see 15 checks or whatever happens to be at the time that will come up and whatever is there by default is good to install press install click one of these accept the license agreement and press install once again I've already done this I am not going to do it again after that has occurred you should see that this file is much longer much larger however because I've already done this in an alternative place it isn't like that for me for me I've actually moved this folder to my documents folder since I have too much clutter in my downloads folder here you'll see Android, I've renamed it, and go to Platform Tools. You should see this ADB, but this time we're not going to double click it. Instead, launch your terminal, and you're going to have to familiarize yourself with two commands if you haven't already, if you aren't already familiar with them. That at the first is ls to list whatever is in your file path, and then the second is cd to actually navigate to that location. Since mine is in Documents, Android, platform dash tools and of course you can use tab to autocomplete what you are typing now if you type ls again you should see this adb option is right there now to actually use adb and ensure that it has been installed properly you will have to use the dot slash adb devices with an, an adb enabled device plugged in to actually enable ADB on your device, you will have to go to advanced settings or something similar. It is different for every device since most of the OEMs have custom software on their devices. But just Google whatever it is for your device and make sure ADB is enabled. After which, you can just simply press enter and you should see a string of random numbers and letters and the word device. If yours does not say device here and instead says something different, for example, an authorized device, go double check with your tablet or mobile phone and ensure that a pop up hasn't shown asking you to authorize your computer to access the device over ADB. If it has shown, click authorize and then from there you should be good to go. And I won't actually go delve into the actual usage aspect of ADB in this tutorial but in the later tutorial that I will post I will show you the universal steps albeit it might not be on OS X but most likely Linux as I prefer that for everything Android related again thanks for watching and have a pleasant day